How about we do a maintenance video today? Let's get to work. All right, we got a ninth generation 2017 Honda Accord. This one has a V6. We're gonna do a transmission service on it, so let's get started. All right, first thing we wanna do, we wanna make sure this thing has been brought up to operating temperature, which it has, so that means that the engine's been running and the cooling fans at least came on a couple times, and we did that. So now we'll just pop the hood and go into the hood. Well, there you go. There's a shot of the old V6 engine. Like I said, we're working on a V6 today, so that means this has a conventional type transmission. Um, it does not have a CVT. The four cylinders um, Accords the 2013 to 2017 those have CVT so don't get confused this is a V6 which has a conventional type transmission all right first thing we want to do we want to find our ATF bolt right there this is going to be our fill bolt let me get a see if I can get a close up on it there it is right there so if it'll focus you can see it's marked stamped ATF right there so that's where you fill up these transmissions on these V6s and so what we want to do is we want to loosen that one first because we want to make sure we can fill this thing back up so we're always going to loosen that up before we pull the drain bolt down below so first thing we'll do is crack that loose all right so you can see i just have a really long extension going down there and it's a 17 millimeter head so i have a 17 millimeter socket on there and i'm going to use a really long ratchet i'm using half inch sometimes these things are on there tight so we're going with the big boy to pop this off. All right, you can see the length of ratchet I'm using. It's pretty big. So we're just going to pop it loose. Oh, and you can see they're on there tight. Once you pop it loose, usually you can just spin them out by hand after that. And so you can see now once it's loose, you can just spin it out by hand. It's just that initial cracking it loose. These things can be on there super tight. So you can see there's our bolt and there's our washer. Honda recommends you replacing these so I got one from the dealer. Hopefully they gave me the right part number. But that's what it looks like. So yeah, make sure to pick this up off of there because it's not going to come up. It usually will just stay right on the top there. Alright, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to jack this vehicle up so I can have a little bit better access to the drain bolt down here. Sometimes you can get to it without jacking the vehicle up, but at least for the purposes of filming, I'm going to jack this thing up right now. So if you come right down under the car, you see where this hook is? See where these two holes are right here? This flat area right here, that's where we're going to put the jack. And looking behind our front wheel right here, coming up under here, these brackets right here, this is where we're going to put our jack stand. I'm going to put one on this side and one on that side. I'm not going to get under a car without jack stands. And before I jack it up on the rear tires here, we're going to chalk the rear tires. I'm going to do that on both sides. All right, looking past our jack point right in the middle of the car underneath, you can see there's the drain bolt for the ATF right there. And we just need the end of a 3 8 inch ratchet right there. So we just pop the ratchet in there and we can knock this loose. All right, so I'm just gonna take a 3 8 inch ratchet. This one's a little bit longer. I have one even longer than this in case it's super tight. But we can just pop it all the way in there and you want it all the way in so we're not stripping it out. And we got it in the off position. And... All right, that one wasn't too bad. Now I think what I'll do is I'll just raise the back end up for the ease of filming and put it on jack stands back there. So as you can see, I jacked the back of the vehicle up, put it on jack stands. You can see this is where they go in the back. There's brackets just like the front. And if you want to know where to jack it up in the back, this tow hook right here is the designated lift point. All right, now that we have it nice and level, we can pull this out. You can see I just put a little extension on there to keep from burning myself because these, uh, these bolts can be hot when it's up to operating temperature. So we'll just make sure we got our pan in the right place and we'll pull it out of the way. And we'll just let it go. Now while it's draining, we'll go ahead and take our drain plug. We'll clean up all the metal shavings that are on here. Now this is normal operation. 
um, there's a magnet right here Whoop. there's a magnet right here and so it's going to collect all the little metal shavings from the transmission and this is completely normal operation so we just want to clean this up and then we're going to be replacing this washer right here all right now we want to replace Honda recommends replacing the washer on both of these on the fill and the drain and so there's our old ones right there here's our new ones here's the new one for the drain and you can see there's the part number where is it at there's the part number right there and then for our fill there's the part number for that one and so anytime we replace them if you look there's a rounded side right there and then this side is a little flatter we always want the flat side to go towards the ceiling surface same thing with this there's the rounded side there's the flat side so we'll put the flat side up all right now these are ready to go all right now you can see it's just a slow drip now we can go ahead and reinstall our drain bolt make sure to clean all this up and we'll go ahead and tighten this all right now that we got it back in place we're just going to snug it up and we'll do that for now and then we need to do our final torque all right now we just need to torque it to 36 foot pounds i got to go at this angle because honda was kind enough to put this little shroud right here but we should be pretty close you can see we didn't have to go much more than where we snugged it so now we're good all right and of course we're going to clean up any drips all right we'll make sure our drain pan and all our tools are out of the way we'll go ahead and drop this vehicle back down All right, now that the vehicle's back on the ground, you can see I have a funnel in place. We're using a flexible funnel to get around all this stuff here. You can see I have it down in the hole. Now let's go look at our service specs, see how much ATF we need. All right, so you can see looking at our service data, 3.3 US quarts at change. And then if, if we were able to drain out everything, which we can't, uh, that would be only if you're overhauling the transmission, it takes 7.6 US quarts. So we're gonna put 3.3 quarts back in. And you can clearly see it's telling us we need to use Honda ATF DW1, and that's what we're going to use. And you can see that's where it is right there. So you're going to need four bottles of these if you're doing this job. So we'll go ahead and dump our 3.3 quarts in and be good. All right, now that we have three in there, we just need a third of a quart. So you can see I have this one in about a third. We'll just dump this one in. All right, now we can pull our funnel. All right, now I'm just going to reach down there without dropping this because it tends to want to fall off. I'll reach down there and place this by hand and get it started. And then we can torque it down. All right, you can see I got it started by hand. Now we'll just do our final torque. All right, now to snug it up, I'm just going to use a 3 8 inch setup. I'm not going to use the half inch. We'll just go in here, tighten it up. We'll snug it up. Now we just need to get it torqued down to 32 foot pounds. All right, if you can see that, I got the torque wrench at 32 all right now we just got to check the fluid level we'll uh, we'll turn the vehicle on bring it up to operating temperature um, we can raise it up to about 25 or 3,000 rpms to help it along as soon as the fans come on once then we'll uh, we'll let it idle back down and then we'll shut it off and then we'll wait 60 to 90 seconds and then we'll check the fluid level it just needs to be in between the two dots that are on there if the fans come on a couple times, you know, two or three times, um, the fluid level might be a little bit higher. So it's always something to take into account. All right, from the front of the engine, there's our dipstick for the transmission fluid right there. And I don't know if you can see right there if it'll focus. We got that notch on the left side there as we're looking at it. That um, we need to make sure when we're checking the level and when we're putting this uh, dipstick back in, we need to make sure it's lined up in that notch just like it is right there. 
And speaking of checking the fluid, it's never a bad idea to check the fluid level before you start. And then you can also, uh, when you drain all the fluid out, you can measure how much fluid you took out too. And while the vehicle's warming up, we can pull our wheel chocks. And you can see our fans finally came on. Alright, I shut it off, so we'll just wait 60 to 90 seconds and we'll check it. And you can see, well, I don't know, maybe you can't see. As long as it's in between the two dots, we're good. And of course, we want to check for leaks when we're all done. Make sure everything looks good. And we'll just reset the maintenance minder. So inside our body control module. All right, there you go. That's how I service the transmission on these newer Accord V6s. And as always, if the video helped you out or you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.